Today I'm throwing some sparks, hoping not to burn the place down while I build this industrial desk with the cherry top. So I had a lot of parts to cut out that needed to be the same length. So I dug out the same jig I used when I made the wood storage rack and set it up the same way. For each series of parts, I clamped a walnut stop to the bench to make the cuts repeatable. Now I primarily work in wood, so there's a ton of sawdust and kindling laying around just waiting for a wayward spark. So before I started welding, I took some time to hang some fire retardant fiberglass blankets up and did some general shop cleanup to get rid of the sawdust piles. I'm going to use those scrap pieces of sheet metal to weld against to reduce the scorch marks on my assembly table. I started out welding the legs to the apron just to get the general frame structure assembled and squared up. As I went along, I took my time to grind my welds and clean them up. Just because it's an industrial style doesn't mean it needs to be rustic or do sloppy work. This leg was a little out of square, so I just unwelded it, sucked the sparks back in, and repositioned it. As I welded the frame for the shelves, the heat pulled it out of square a little bit, so I used a bar clamp to pull it back in and welded the bottom supports in place. That worked out pretty well and got it all squared back up. When I welded in the shelf supports, I cut a scrap piece of wood to use as a spacer block. This way I would only have to measure once and be sure all the shelves would line up to the same height. I just clamped the wood in place, pushed the steel support to it, and welded it up. I used the same method to line the supports up on the front. And then from there, it was just a matter of welding up the rest of the frame and doing a little cleanup with the grinder. Once the frame was welded up, I started working on making some tabs to screw the wood to. To drill the holes for the screws, I used some high-tech H2O coolant for my drill press. I made the holes a little oversized to allow for wood movement. Then back to my cutting jig with a little stop to cut them all to the same length. They're about an inch long. I have the desk upside down so I can weld the tabs for the shelves in place. I used a piece of scrap wood the same thickness of the shelves to help me line up the shelves flush with the top of the steel and position the tab in the correct spot to support the shelf. Before I moved on to woodworking, I took a few minutes to go over the entire frame with a flat disc to prep it for paint by knocking off all the mill scale and dingleberries left over from welding. I cleaned up all the metal dust and sharp steel shards that were laying all over the place and got back to making sawdust. Building the top and shelves was pretty standard woodworking. Rough cut the lumber to length, sent it through the planer, edge jointed it, and glued it up. Even though I took my time and used floating tenons to help align the boards, the top still had a few spots where the boards were slightly out of line. So I went over the whole thing with a hand plane to flatten it before sanding and finishing. Now that everything has been painted and finished, it is time to install the shelves in the top. The shelves just drop in between the steel and rest on the tabs. I cut the shelves about an eighth inch smaller to allow for wood movement between the steel frame. Then it was just a matter of screwing the shelves to the support tabs. I tightened them down with an impact driver and then used a screwdriver to hand loosen them by a half turn. This would allow the wood to expand and contract during seasonal movement and not get bound up. And there is our completed industrial modern desk with a black steel frame and a cherry wood top. Special thanks to my Patreon members. If you'd like to see more builds like this on my channel, please join me on Patreon.